All right, you might have saw my other video where I was trying to get this little baby running again. Uh, if you saw that, you know what it is. It's a Traxxas Slayer 3.3 Pro. And it's quite a little truck from Traxxas. I've had this for quite a while. Um, I bought it used off eBay. And the worst part about it is the body's a little rough. But underneath is a real little gym. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm going to show you the truck. So, of course, it's a stadium-style truck or short-course truck. And uh, so they put this large body on there. Makes it look very realistic. It has a front bumper course and then it has the characteristic standard uh, short course truck bumper on the back so really cool has the scale tires little BF Goodrich uh, mud train TAs and they actually work fairly well I run it mostly on pavement so um, but for what I do with it I just drive it around and have fun I don't really race or anything um, so let's take the top off this is gonna be a quick review I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this there you go. As you can see, the truck underneath looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I'm actually thinking about putting a, a VW bug body on it. I think that'd look pretty cool. I saw one on the internet somewhere. Bonjour. And it looked pretty uh, pretty cool. So anyway, um, let's talk about it real quick. So what you get is you have the truck. You have the starter box that goes up here and your remote and then I also let me grab it I also use a hot shot or a glow plug igniter to uh, to start it so that goes on the glow plug there you really need to think carefully if you want a nitro vehicle they are kind of finicky in terms of tuning everything has to be pretty much perfect for it to run and uh, there's really not a lot of room for laziness or sloppiness so you need to, every time you run it, you need to empty the tank. You need to put your WD-40 into the intake uh, after your after run um, procedure. And you have to keep all the batteries charged, including the hot shot or the glow igniter. Let me show you that again. So of course that goes on the glow plug to get, get it hot when you're starting it. You have to keep a battery charge for the starter box. And, of course, the truck has batteries in there. It has four uh, AA size batteries, and then this has four AA batteries as well. So there's a lot going on there. For a young kid, I might lean away from it. I'm fairly experienced with engines, and uh, I occasionally have some fits with them, and they, they're enough to make you want to cuss or toss it or uh, get rid of it. So... Just wanted to put that out front before I even go into this thing is make sure you understand the commitment you have to have for a nitro vehicle. They're a 30,000 RPM engine. They turn extremely high RPM. They're very finicky. And uh, Traxxas has done a nice job with this engine, but it's still finicky. I'd say probably the best engines are the OS engines from Japan, and they're probably a little more stable in terms of tuning them and everything. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the truck and talk about it really quick. So let's go through the parts. We have our battery box with receiver, fuel tank, rear exhaust coming off the engine, which is really nice because all your crap from the engine is going to go out the rear end. These engines spit a lot of oil. And if you have a, a nitro vehicle with a pipe on the side, it sprays that oil everywhere on the vehicle. It really makes a mess. So I like this because it'll blow off the back. It collect, it'll get a little bit of residue on the rear end, but not too bad. So really, also that's another thing. I'm kind of a neat freak. I don't like getting a lot of fuel on my hands. I actually wear rubber gloves a lot when I'm working with this, this thing. I actually have four nitro vehicles. Um... I think that's right. I can't, kind of lost count. But anyway, I might get some of them out later. But uh, anyway, let's go back to the truck. There's your exhaust. You have this engine. Notice the engine's mounted at an angle, which is really interesting. This chassis design, in my opinion, is one of the best chassis designs ever done for an RC truck or RC vehicle. It has a bell crank style suspension, which is similar to an Indy or F1 car. This is very, very nice. That reduces the unsprung weight. Notice the shocks are inboard. 
And I have the optional stabilizer bar on there. So that's the anti-roll bar. So as I try to twist the truck, notice that the bars are trying to twist and that stabilizes it and keeps the truck nice and flat in turns. I also have that same setup on the rear end. You can see it right there. There's the stabilizer bar. So really cool. I, I strongly recommend that, if, especially if you're running on pavement because it'll kind of grab, the tires will kind of grab the pavement and try to tip it over. If you have the stabilizer bars, it keeps it nice and flat and it'll allow the truck to skid through the corners. You have a lot of opportunity for suspension tuning here. You have uh, threaded shocks. And the other really cool thing about this truck is it has a two-speed transmission. So that actually has a second gear in there. It works off centrifugal force. When it reaches a certain speed, it'll shift into second gear. Really awesome. When it gets going, it, it revs hard in first, then it shifts hard in second and really speeds up. So it's really pretty cool how that works as well. I keep wanting to sell these things, but every time I run them, I think, man, that thing's awesome and I gotta keep it. So they are a pain in the neck to keep running, especially if you're like me and you don't run it for two or three years. Um, the other thing that's really cool is it has disc brakes, actually twin disc brakes right here. Everything's adjustable. You can see the, the disc. So that's really impressive. And when I say twin disc, I meant that it has a twin pad. It squeezes on both sides of the disc. So really, I mean, it'll lock the tires up no problem on pavement even. Um, of course, you can see the bottom of the truck. Very nicely done. It has very long A-arms. Notice they go almost to the center of the vehicle. And it has a waterproof servo. This is the servo here for steering. And then it has waterproof servos for the for the uh, throttle there. Waterproof servo, excuse me. Um, and of course it has electric start. Can't beat that. So if you have any questions about it, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as I have time. Um, one thing you want to make sure is you always run a clean air filter. That can really jack them up if they get dirty air because the engine has such tight tolerances because it turns so quickly. It'll just eat that engine alive if it gets any dirt in it. So um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching Project King videos as, as always. And uh, we appreciate your support. Maybe later on I'll get this out and do a, a video with putting a bug body on it and show you how to do the painting on that. That'd be a good, good project for me and a good project for you maybe. So um, until next time, we'll keep doing all the projects. Later.